Welcome students to chemistry concept and now we are going to discuss the concept of hard and soft acid and bases. Let's begin with the classification. Classification of metal ions and ligands. The entire concept is based on this classification only. Metal ions are classified into two groups. Similarly, ligands are also classified into two groups. First of all, let's have a look at the classification of metal ions. Metal ions are classified into two groups, class A metals and class B metal ions. The class A metal ions are, include the metal ions of alkali metals, alkaline earth metals and the lighter transition metal ions in their higher oxidation state. You can see all the alkali metals, alkaline earth metals and the uh, lighter, the smaller uh, transition metal like uh, chromium, iron and all in their higher oxidation state are there. Like, what, what does it mean by higher oxidation state? Oxidation state of iron is plus 2 and plus 3. So here we have included the one which is in higher oxidation state, Fe3 positive. Similarly, class B metal ions include heavier transition metal ions in their lower oxidation state like copper, uh, mercury, palladium, platinum, silver and all in their lower oxidation state. So this was the classification of metal ions. Similarly, ligands are also classified as class A ligands. These are the ligands that preferably bind to class A metal ions. Like OH negative, F negative, ammonia, H2 and all. Class B ligands are the ligands that preferably bind to class B metal ions. Examples are here. Okay, this was the classification of metal ions and ligands. And we know that metal ions, that is cations, which accept the electron pairs are called acids. And the ligands, which can donate a pair of electrons are called bases. So on that basis, class A metal ions are called hard acids. Class B metal ions are called soft acids. Similarly, class A ligands are called hard bases and class B ligands are called soft bases. Hard acids and hard bases means their electronic cloud cannot be easily polarized while uh, Soft acids and soft bases means their electron cloud can easily be polarized. Okay, again, and this is an example. Uh, this, this is a table which shows the example of hard bases, soft bases, and the bases which are intermediate that is, they are on the borderline. And similarly, hard acid, soft acid, and the borderline at line acid that means those which are intermediate to the hard and soft. So basically, it is on the basis of their uh, electronic. Uh, uh, cloud uh, that means how easily they can be uh, distorted now there's a Pearson's principle hard acids will have a preference for the hard bases and soft acids will have preference for the soft bases let's understand this with an example let's say there's, an, there's a reaction in which BH plus is reacting with CH3 HG plus to form BCH3 HG and H positive ion now what is B? B is not an element here B denotes a base. Okay. Again. Now here, if you have a look, there are two acids. H positive is an hard acid and HG positive is a soft acid. Again, on the reactant side, the base is with H positive ion, which is an hard acid. On the product side, the base is with HG positive ion, which is a soft acid. Now, the base is unknown and if the base is, if the base is a hard base, then as per the Pearson principle, it will have preference for the hard acid. That means if B is a hard base, it will, uh, um, it will have strong tendency for a hard acid if it is a hard base. That means it will more strongly bind to H positive ion as compared to silver, uh, mercury ion. And thus the equilibrium will remain on the 
reactant side if b is a hard base then it will have preference for the hard acid so the equilibrium moves from uh, right to left that is the equilibrium moves throughout the reactant side if b is a soft base it will have more affinity for the soft acid that will it will more likely to bind with hg positive ion and the equilibrium will shift into right side if b is a soft base it will have preference for the hg positive and equilibrium moves from the left to right side and in this way we can find out whether a base is hard or soft by predicting by but by having a look that the equilibrium is on the right side or is it on the left side we can predict whether b is a hard acid or whether b is a soft base or a hard base i hope this thing was clear to you if you have any doubt you can always ask in our comment section thanks please don't forget to like subscribe and share this video thank you